Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit mermaidy. I want to be where the people are. In reality, I want to be where the people aren't. <laughs> I want to be where the people aren't. So Crystal Parade have sent me some goodies before we get started. You can use the link in the description and the code Miss Jo for 10% off at Crystal Parade. They've sent me this. This is the Cheshire Cat Whisker Mix. Slow down. Take a breath. Calm down. This has these pink ones. They're like clear, but the base is pink. And then so it look they have got little whitey bits. It looks like whiskers. And then the purple and the black. And those black bits do have a flat edge on them. So you can put them on nails. Then we have the Tiffany mix. Oh, look at that Tiffany blue. Do you think it's Tiffany blue or is it Tiffany green? I think it's Tiffany blue, isn't it? And then two little bows, which would just be perfect if you were doing a Tiffany set. This set, collect uh, the Wonderland collection through the looking glass. Oh my giddy giddy gosh. These, they look sparkly on camera. No, they were bananas sparkly in real life i stared at them for ages that i think they're the sparkliest crystals i've ever ever seen just stunning and then the big um smooth ones they're amazing the little cubes have got a flat corner on one of the corners so you can have them oh, i'm running behind precious and mermaid mix this one is but yeah those cubes have a flat corner on the corner a flat side on the corner <laughs> so that you can put them on a nail but so that they are sat at an angle you know they're sat on a corner as opposed to a side yeah um that was the merm that was the was that under the sea just now oh no this is under the sea that was the mermaid mix just now and then we have this the under the sea mix which we're going to use today because i am just amazed by these some of them have got facets on you can see the twinkly blue ones but the others are like little bubbles so they don't have facets they're just like little domes and they look like underwater bubbles and i just thought they were amazing so we're going to use those today and we're starting with bpsg01 from born pretty store which is a jelly blue it's a bit more sort of aqua than it looks there. So we're going to mix in this darker jelly blue um, just to make it a bit more blue than aqua. <laughs> just mix a tiny bit in with it. And we're going to do two coats of that. I need to take a breath. I think I've just done the whole thing so far without breathing. <laughs> Everybody all right? Good. We're doing two coats of that. Oh, and this isn't in the set, but I'm going to show you anyway. I'm taking the Born Pretty Opal Milk Gel. Did you notice the glitch in the matrix when I was wiggling that bottle around? And we're going to... I've mixed the tiniest bit of white gel polish in with it because it was a bit too um, sheer. And then before curing, I'm adding dots of base coat. The whole video was planned around doing one of these kind of, you know, pool pool water nails that um, everybody's going on about. I don't know why, it's not a new thing, but, but I didn't like how it looked. I just, maybe I shouldn't have put the white in, but then I tried it without adding the white to the opal milk one, and it wasn't, I don't know. So that's how I did that, if you want to know. Nothing to do with this set. Um, I'm going to... I've done five nails with two coats of the jelly and then we're going to top them all and cure it and then we're going to take this this is from amazon the i'll put a link in the description for it the first one was that first thing i pointed at and the one on the bottom right has got a greeny shift to it they're sort of chromes mermaid chromes so i'm going for the greeny one and we're going to burnish so just rub in that onto the top coat that we've cured and then oh, we're up to date okay then we're just going to ogle at it for a second 
And then I'm going to put some base coat down because the next step, I'm 100% sure I'm going to mess up at some point. So with, if I went to wipe it, I didn't want to wipe off any of the chrome. So we're just kind of protecting our chrome in case we need to wipe. And now I'm taking the Madame Glam white gel paint, worked out where the middle was at the top, and we're just going to do U-shapes. And then we're just going to repeat that over and over and like a million times until we've covered the nail to create some mermaid scales. I was at first, I gave up towards the end. I was now curing that, I cured that top row and then I'll do the second row and the U goes from the middle of, it goes between two, wait, try again. I've, I've had a beverage. <laughs> it's Saturday and sunny. Um, so the U underneath starts in the middle of one of the above U's here and then ends in the middle of the one next to it. And this bit right here, make sure you bring that up to the middle of that one above it instead of just sort of going all the way out to the side because otherwise things will just get wider and bigger and you'll have less use as you go down. Does that make sense? I'm taking these two colours, Spirit Guide and Besame from Madame Glam and I'm just going to do some random scales with those colours. Yeah, I, I wanted to make a point of this because I found that I, my scales were just getting bigger and then huge towards the bottom and I was having less and less because when I got to the one at the side, I was just kind of thinking, oh, well, that nearly goes off, so we'll just take it all the way to the side. But don't do that. Make sure that you do come up, let's say you're working right side of the scale to the left, which you're probably not, but I'm left-handed, so that's what I do, work to the left. I was going down and up and then, oh, how the bloody hell, uh, <laughs> I can't think how to explain it, but make sure when you come down in the U and then go up, make sure when you get to the very end, because it looks like there wouldn't be that much room for it to go up, so you just kind of take it all the way to the side, don't do that because then you've got less U-shapes on the row below that need to go between the ones of the row that you've just done. So everything just gets bigger and bigger. I have no idea. what I do know what I'm talking about, but I don't know how to, how to say this. So we're filling in some random spots with the pink and this greeny colour. And then we're going to cure it. No rhyme or reason whatsoever to where they're going. And because the plan was to go for a pool pool water thing vibe and that didn't work and I wasn't happy with it, this whole set, and I'm going to apologise, I was just in a foul mood, wasn't enjoying myself, purposefully wasn't making my scale super neat and everything. I'd spent like hours at my desk and had accomplished nothing. So I was like, just do something and be done with it. So I'm sorry that it's not um, it's not my best work and I try to bring you my best stuff but um, it just wasn't in the mood. So I cured the pink, oh fuck, what am I doing now? I cured the pink and the green. I've put some of the McCart gem gel in spots where I want to put some of the crystals and then I've topped it. I haven't cured any of that so I haven't cured the gem gel. <laughs> this was ridiculous. And I haven't cured the top coat. But then I can't remember where I put the gem gel. <laughs> and thankfully this did make me laugh instead of stressing me out more. Because I thought, you know when people put like a poly gel or a thick sort of really firm gel down and then top coat over it before cure. So they put the firm gel down, they don't cure it. Then they put the top coat on it, don't cure it. And then they press the crystals into the firm gel and then you can cure the whole thing and it's top coated already so you don't have to top coat around crystals which gives you a really wiggly light line. I thought let's try that with the gem gel but it's quite, it's not thick enough to, um, well it wasn't so thick so they're sliding around all over the place. But also I did float the top coat so that it wasn't sort of moving where I'd put the gem gel 
but I just completely forgot which scales I put them in. <laughs> so I thought, oh, if I was to do it again, where would I put them? And just hoped for the best. It was just one of those, like, I'm done with me. I was fed up with myself. Um, so I was just kind of mm, not overly caring and just being annoyed at myself. So I would normally just put the gem gel on, put the crystals on, cure them, and then top around it. But I just wanted to try something new. And now with the next one, so we've chromed this one and base coated and we've mapped out a French starting from the middle. How am I so behind? Um, starting from the middle and then going up one side and then turning it upside down, which you can do with a client. Just get them to flip their hand over and then bend their fingers back towards themselves and then trying to match it on the other side to get my French um, which I may have corrected a little off camera. Sometimes it's really hard to do things holding the nail in shot of where I'm filming or putting the camera somewhere where I could hold the nail as close to me or be at the angle that I want to be um, for painting it. So I'm now just doing scales on here as well and then obviously started at the top and centre, well the centre of the French now we need to work upwards, which is much trickier than working downwards with scales. So just imagining where um, the point is, is where the middle of the bottom of the U of the one above it is. Feel free to rewind that sentence and listen to it again in the hope that it makes sense. And I did the same on the other side on these corner bits, but it was really blurry. So we cut that. And then again, we're going to add some pink and greeny bits in here and then we'll cure. I might just take a second and just, you know, uh, how are you all? I hope you're all okay. Um, I do still read all the comments. I, I want to make sure you know that I do read them. And if I don't heart or reply them, don't think that I don't heart or want to reply to them. I do. I heart them all. Um, apart from haters, but we haven't had any in a while. I have got some stored for when I'm back on camera. Um, although one came in the other day, day when I did a tipsy voiceover. And someone, was, someone, I can't remember, I don't think it was a hater, but they were like, please don't drink and work. It's not good for you or something like that. Um, it's not like I have a problem. <laughs> it's a sunny Saturday evening. I'm having an Aperol spritz. I'd, oh, I did this here because I thought that would look cool. And then I thought, no, I quite like the crisp edge, the crisp line of the smile line. So I, I just wanted to show you that. That's what I tried. Changed my mind. We're going to top and I'm going to plonk these little crystals just in top coat. Because, again, I just didn't have the patience or I was just in a bad mood with myself otherwise I would gem gel them on and then top coat but I just thought we'll plonk them in there it's not a human they don't have to last they're not doing anything strenuous and on this one we are going to we're going to do them properly we're going to put the crystals on properly here so I'm taking that McCart gem gel again and I'm just mapping out where I'm going to put things I've just put them out um sort of come up with a pattern and put them on the side uh, to the what am I trying to say <laughs> I've created a little pattern I've got them out ready in and laid them out how I want them so I'm going to try and um, map out the pattern with the gel on the nail <laughs> and then oh this one had to be done because it's just so gorgeous oh and that big round one a oval even I just it where it hasn't got facets it's just just glowing it's just got this blinding reflection um so we're going to plonk a bunch on here oh look at that twinkle did you see that that was amazing some of the twinkly ones and some of the bubble ones the oh and a pearl um the big one in the middle is from that um wonderland through the looking glass um pack and some are and so are these um, the more silvery and clear ones are from there. Highly, highly recommend that pack. It's so gorgeous. I just, it was whispering to me, 
look at me. I was like, I am looking at you. Yeah, but look at me better. Look at me harder. <laughs> it's so stunning. So we'll get um, a sort of crystal pat. I mean, it is a crystal pattern, but because I know that I'm, I'm not very good at crystal patterns, I'm going to call it a sort of crystal pattern. And then I, I popped these on and we'll cure them in place. I'm doing some of the bubbles as well to match the bubbles on the uh, scale nail, scale nails, and then just giving them a sort of wiggle around. We're going to cure it and then I thought we have to put the swirly, from. this is from the um, mermaid collection the bubbles of the under the sea collection so from the mermaid collection these swirls and be because they're not I was going to put one either side of where I put that first one but they all point the same way whether you turn it upside down or not so it wouldn't have perfectly mirrored it so I just moved it up and put it at an angle um op like opposite at an angle I've suddenly I can't talk <laughs> it's actually the next day now it's Sunday now and uh, I, I've i just watched the final of Queen's Tennis. So my brain's not in nail mode. But we cured those in place. And then we're using a velvet, the Madame Glam velvet matte top coat. Because, you know, I love crystals on a matte background. Oh, the way they keep catching the light and... Pew, pew, big flash of blinginess. Uh, so we'll seal them all in with that getting under all the nooks and crannies if there's big nooks gaps between a crystal and a nail if it's a big flat back fill it in with some um gem gel or builder gel or something just so there's no gaps for you know when you wash your hair and you catch hairs in it and things uh, it's the best way to tell if you've broken a nail as well wash your hair you'll know if you've got a break anywhere are we taking the this Born Pretty plate? It's um, a marble plate, but I'm going to use it and pretend that they're water ripples. And once in context, nobody will know. We don't have to tell them it's actually marble. So we're going to stamp that, apply the stamping polish, scrape, and then roll the stamper over it. This is the Selena Ryden stamper. And then I just doubled up the pattern because uh, the nail was longer than the pattern and then we'll top it straight on to you don't need to cure stamping polish unless it's a gel stamping polish um, and we did two of those to put at sort of bookends either side and this is the final set that middle one with the crystals oh that shell is so gorgeous and I think the the sheen of it suited the matte uh, having matte as the background well, it's not too apparent, um, but there you go. I hope you like this set. Let me know what you think. There it is on my hand. It is still quite jelly, like a bit see-through, which I like. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I love to hear from you. Thank you to Crystal Parade for these crystals. Don't forget, you can use um, the link in the description and the code on screen. I can't remember what it is. I think it's just Miss Jo, isn't it? I'll put it on screen again. Um, they're amazing. I highly recommend you go and check out all their gorgeous sparkly goodness. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.